Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. Truly excited to have Miss Holly Cotton on with us uh, today. Great lady doing some great things. So first, thanks so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's dive into it. Uh, I know off air we talked about your journey uh, all of those amazing things uh, that you're involved in got me tired just listening to it. But uh, but if you don't mind sharing a little bit about, you know, your background, who you are and what it is you do so the audience will have an idea. Yes, for sure. For sure. So my name is Holly Cotton and I have been a nurse for over 20 years. So wellness, uh, fitness, uh, holistic lifestyle has always been a part of who I am. Uh, I am also an author. And uh, 2018, I wrote my first book. And that's kind of what propelled me into the Holly Cotton Media personality that you see now. Mm -hmm. So 2018, wrote my first book. And then after that, uh, the end of 2021 was when I uh, got my podcast basically um, started. And then January of 2022, that's really whenever I started having my first episodes. And then uh, here we are a year later, and that basically pivoted to a whole media personality side. So you'll catch me on the red carpet. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you know, all the events, uh, I'm an avid traveler, all of that great stuff. So that's pretty much my story. That's awesome, man. A lot of, a lot of great things. Like I said, on the intro, a lot of, a lot of dope things going on. Congratulations to you on all of that too. Thank you. Thank you. I try. I try. Yeah, a little something. <laughs> a little something. Little something. Little something. <laughs> try to be special. Try to be special. <laughs> my kids <laughs> remind me I'm not, but I try. I try. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are what are three things uh, you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? So I there's so many more than three things because yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you have to celebrate all of the small victories. And I think people always feel like they have to focus on these grandeur things in mm. order to feel like they they are accomplished. So yeah. I think one of the one of the things that I feel like um, that I've accomplished is one I, being a mom. I say all the time, you know. Uh, of all the roles that I have, being a mom is the one that I'm most proud of. So, you know, I definitely think, uh, I guess I was, it, being a parent, I think, forces you to grind on a level that you never thought was, yeah, yeah. like, you couldn't even fathom the level of grind that you got to mm -hmm. be on when you got to put someone else's needs above yep. you. Yep. So definitely that. And then also, you know, one of the things about myself that I, I, I find that inspires a lot of people that when they know me, uh, as well as my my own kids and, and my friends is whenever I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And it's to me, it's it's a level of my friends don't even think like before, I guess, you know, I would be like, hey, I think I'm going to do this. And, you know, people would be like you think you can do that or whatever. And now it's like whatever I say now, everyone is just like, Oh, okay. Like here, there here it go. Here it come. <laughs> yeah. I've I've proved it. I've proved yeah. it. And so I think manifestation is very important and and not only that but the execution. Mm. And so um and then my biggest thing just for 2023 the thing that I'm most proud of this year is that um December of every year I always write some of some goals for the next year. And so the fact that I've already accomplished almost every goal that I put on my list for 2020, like December 
2022 for 2023. I've almost knocked everything off but one thing. But the biggest thing was uh, getting a billboard in Times Square. So if you look at my Instagram, you'll see the the video of where I actually saw it come up the first time. And it was like something I had manifested for like a year. And, you know, people are always like, well, you can get a billboard for anything. But I'm like, right. But when you have a billboard for something that you did, it's yeah. totally, it's not a picture. It's, it's my new book that was out. It was, you know, and I had my daughter with me. So it was a whole, a whole thing. And then I was speaking at Essence. So I actually had two billboards in one day in Times Square. And I like, for me, that was like, it was almost surreal. Cause I'm like this little country girl it's got two billboards in the same day in Times Square. So those are like my my things, I think, that what I would say would be my three right now. But it's just still July, so check back with me in December. Come on, Holly Cotton, <laughs> let's go. Hey, you're going to have to start doing your goals at a different time. You have to hit them like that and change it to July or something. Right. Them, them early, so you have to change that up. <laughs> yeah. Well, just just hearing you talk about your journey, uh, hearing you talk about the things that you're proud of, I would consider that to be hugely successful. So let's let's hit on success. What is your definition of success? So my definition of success is, I think that success one is basically subjective to how that person feels what is successful. So for me, I think that what defines success is when someone pushes past something where other people quit. And when you come out on the other side of whatever it is, that to me is what differentiates someone being successful for unsuccessful. Because they may not have more knowledge, they may not have more uh, uh, financial assistance, they may not have whatever, but when you hit that obstacle and then you're like, oh, this is too hard. Oh, I can't do that. And then you stop right there. The person that comes to that point and still pushes past that, to me, that's success. So I'm always the, when I hit the obstacle, if it's something that I envisioned or I manifested, I'm never stopping. Like nothing can stop me. I'm like that, the train off the tracks, just plummeting through whatever it is if it, if i had it on my mind it's it's gonna get done so for me that's what success is i love that nothing can stop me i'm all the way up <laughs> all the way up <laughs> what i want to do now is uh kind of off script a little bit here yeah what i want to do is kind of throw like three words or phrases at you. And if you don't mind just talking about what, what comes to, to mind or to heart uh, when you hear these, these words or phrases, you good with that? Yeah, go ahead. All right. All right. So the, the first, the first phrase is living and learning. And you want me to tell you what I think that means? Yeah, just when, uh, when, just what you think of when you hear the words living and learning. Well, I think that to me, that phrase would be where you look at things that happened in life as lessons and not necessarily as losses. And I think that whenever people change that mindset, which mindset is the number one tool that you can have that you yeah. can use every day for whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Like your mindset will put you in rooms and situations you never imagined. So I think that for me, living and learning means you won't, if you if you woke up today, you live life. So what did you, what did you take away from it? What did, what, what was the L that you think you took today that you're actually going to use that as tangible information to implement and in doing something differently tomorrow? So you don't have the same outcome, you know? So that's the whole point of you you have life. So you have to live it as long. Well, you don't have to, I mean, you know, but <laughs> yeah. I'm going to live my life. <laughs> So, but everything is always a learning experience. You know, somebody yeah. messed over you, something didn't work out for you. How am I taking that and saying, hmm, that didn't work, but what can I do to take that away so that I can use that and still come out winning on the other side? I love it. That's good. That's good. So, so the next word, I'm going to tell you why I'm thinking of this word. 
-hmm. The reason why I'm thinking of this word is like we talked about, you know, throughout the interview, you're involved in lots of lots of great things. Right. So in order to be successful at all of those things that you're doing, I think that you have to be able to do this word I'm going to give you. And so the word is prioritizing. Yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I've definitely learned to say no to certain yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. And and I think that's that's the biggest issue. I think a lot of people have too. And and I think whenever you prioritize something, I think that comes with organization. Because if you are organized, I can I can have eight million things to do. And yes, the priority may be number one. But guess what? I'm going to still get to number 50 because I'm organized. So if that means that I'm pulling a late night where I'm up till two or three o'clock in the morning to get it done, it's going to get done. But that's that's based off of your systems. Like you have to have systems in life. And I think people also don't look at your life is a business. Your brand is a business. So regardless of what it is, if you're just a parent or if you work for someone else, there are systems in place. You know, you know, when your kid goes to school, you know, 7 a.m. they need breakfast, 8.30 they got this, you got to drop them off, this, they got to get to practice, they have this. You, when you log into work, you have a team meeting at nine, you have something, something, you have this to do, you have this to do. But then when it comes to our own personal lives, we are blase blah about it. We're just like, eh, I get to it when I get to it. Oh, well, I don't need to go to the gym. Well, I don't have time to cook meals today or, oh, I don't, you know, I don't need this or whatever. You should have the same systems in place as everything else. So whenever you make yourself a priority, it, your mental health your spiritual health, you're able to be a happier person. You're not always burnt out. You're not frustrated. You, you know, even whenever I feel like I'm fried, I still have the, the mental capacity to smile, to enjoy yeah. my day. And I think a lot of people, they don't because they, they don't know how to prioritize one, their own mental health and two, to treat life as a system, just like you do everything else. I love that. Uh, and I wholeheartedly agree with that too. I think you have to have operating systems in place. Um, and then I think you also have to be able to um, update those operating systems as you see unnecessary. If some things aren't working or oh, I got to do better on that or, Hey, cancel this. Don't do that. Like this right. is a waste of time. <laughs> so we need to, we need to adjust the operating system. But um, Facts. the, the, the last word, um, I'm gonna warn you before I give you this one. This is the good one, Holly. <laughs> this is the good one, Holly Cotton. <laughs> this is the good one, but but then uh, but then also I'm gonna pause a little bit and then I'm gonna get to you. So so the last word is legacy. So for me, legacy basically means what am I leaving behind? And I actually will tell you this that I have. I have something in notes in my phone and I have, and it actually says, uh, what, uh, what Holly Cotton leaves behind. And so what, whenever I'm, I'm doing it, of course I have a thousand notes, so I can't find it. I was trying to try to see, but what for me, a legacy is not just what I leave to my kids, but it's, it's what I leave in a room when I walk away. So every person that I meet, I, and I, like I said, I have a note in my phone to remind my own self what yeah. I want to leave in the room. And sometimes I, I, I get caught up and I'm like, well, geez, was that really authentic to who I am? Is that what I wanted to leave in the room? So I have to regroup myself. But for me, it's the way that people remember me. And it's the way that people speak about me when I'm not in rooms. It's the way that people put me in rooms that I wouldn't have gotten into. That's part of your legacy. It's not just leaving financial wealth to your kids. It's not doing that. It's, it's your brand. It's your reputation. It's who you are. So for me, I think that that's more of how I would define legacy because when I'm gone, there's a there's a country song by Tim McGraw and it's called Standing Room Only. And he and he talks about in the song and he talks about like um, 
uh, you know, how he lived life where he, you know, he's worried about small stuff and all of this. And he realizes that's not what it is. It's about living a life where so many people love you when you die that you're in your funeral. There's only standing room because there are so many people that you left a legacy for that love you. And I'm always like, man, that's how I want to live my life. I want I want my legacy to be where it's standing room only. Mm, so good, man. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> hey, hey, I set you up and I and, tried. Hey, I said yeah, hey, I, I set you up and told you I'm gonna give you the good one and I paused, then you hit me back. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> well, uh, as we close, uh, I'd love for you to get an opportunity to share with the audience where they can go follow you and, and check you out and show you some love with all the amazing things you got going on. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All my stuff is super easy. I, Holly Cotton underscore is all my social so my tiktok is holly cotton underscore my instagram is holly cotton underscore i'll be honest i don't on facebook i just have it as a professional profile so you can follow me but i do engage on there a little bit i just do it for content all of my books and everything are available at hollycotton.com uh you can google me i'm googleable too so you look me up boo look me up uh so I just released my third book, Somebody's Wife or Not. Uh, so that's going really well. And it's available on any platform as well. So, yeah, all of that great stuff. There it is. Again, I just want to say uh, thanks so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. I truly appreciate it. And I wish you continued success. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.